President Biden is urging all Americans to avoid panic buying at gas stations. He says the Colonial Pipeline is nearing full capacity days after its network was shut down because of a ransomware attack. News Nation correspondent Allison Harris is live in Washington, D.C. tonight with an update on issues surrounding the supply chain. Allison. Ruta Bay fuel is flowing again through the largest pipeline in the U.S., but the president warns this doesn't work like a light switch. People are panic buying gas along the East Coast as the national average price of a gallon of gas now tops $3 for the first time since 2014. The president is urging the public not to hoard gas, saying the shortage should ease by this weekend into next week as service returns. Will not feel the effects uh, at the pump immediately. This is not like flicking on a light switch. This pipeline is 5,500 miles long. The Biden administration is waiving restrictions that limit the amount of fuel carried by tanker trucks and waiving a 100 year old law known as the Jones Act that will now allow some foreign flagged ships to transport fuel to and from American ports. The president has signed an executive order aimed at enhancing our country's cybersecurity defenses, creating digital safety standards, and requiring companies that contract with the federal government to report vulnerabilities or attacks when they happen. The executive order also creates what's like a NTSB GO team to respond to future major cyber attack incidents as they happen. The president declined to comment today on a published report that Colonial Pipeline paid $5 million in ransom to the hackers who did the attack. Gas Buddy is predicting that this will be cleared up as people get ready to travel for Memorial Day weekend, but right now it's affecting many Americans just trying to fill up their tanks. In Washington, Allison Harris, News Nation.